to add a little bit more information to what I put out earlier. Uh, we are still waiting for some of our uh, agencies to arrive here at the scene. So specific details um, are not really going to be put out more than I did this afternoon. I'm just going to be adding a little bit more to, to that. At approximately 11.55 a.m. this morning, a 2006 Airbus EC-135 E2 helicopter, which was being piloted by a 37-year-old Franklin Franklinville, New Jersey man crashed into a drainage ditch located in the rear of the United States Post Office facility located in the 200 block of Quigley Boulevard, Newcastle. The helicopter, which is owned by Penn Star in association with the University of Pennsylvania Hospitals, then became engulfed in flames. Responding fire personnel from the Goodwill Fire Company and neighboring volunteer fire companies arrived at the scene and were able to extinguish the flames. The male pilot and sole occupant of the helicopter was declared dead at the scene. We are withholding the victim's name at this present time pending the notification of his next of kin. There were no, no other injuries as a result of the crash. Minor structural damage to a shed was sustained by flying debris and flames. Upon speaking with aviation officials, it was learned that the pilot, who was employed by Metro Aviation, had flown from the Atlantic City Airport and was conducting training in the area of the Newcastle County Airport. This is currently an ongoing and active investigation which is being conducted by the Delaware State Police, the National Transportation Safety Board, and the Federal Aviation Administration. Further information on the investigation will be released at a later time as the investigation dictates. Uh, anybody have any questions at this point? Was the weather a factor? That is still part of the ongoing and active investigation. As I stated, we are waiting for um, a couple of our sister agencies to arrive and um, we will sit down and, and discuss all the possible factors. We understand the train flight. The pilot himself was conducting training. He's conducting a train. That information will have to be obtained from uh, Penn Star or, or uh, the owner of the helicopter. Sorry, the company that employs the pilot. Did well, you notify the tower way? of any problems ahead of time? That is something we are looking into at this time. Well, would we say at this point, was he going into the airport or coming back out of the airport? At, from what we know at this point, um, he was conducting uh, what's called approach training, um, and that is also something you would need to discuss with the, the companies that, that own the helicopter and, and employ the pilot as to exactly what that is. And by training, he was trying to improve his skill he was under. Yes, he was the sole occupant of that, of that helicopter. Preliminary, we, we're not ready to discuss that at this time. As I stated, uh, the uh, National Transportation Safety Board it is still on the way here. Um, once they are here, we can get full bore into the investigation, but um, we need to wait for their arrival. 